Uh, you asked about what did I mean about getting smoked out of here like I was at an ayahuasca retreat. Mm -hmm. I'm getting my eyes on the first video Oof. that I've ever seen before of the ayahuasca retreat. Yeah. And remember, ayahuasca was brought into our particular lives whenever Aaron Rodgers said he went and did it uh, down in the jungles of Costa Rica, yep. mm -hmm. I do believe, mm -hmm. and how much it changed him and how much it better it made him mentally. And then you start doing some research. It's like a lot of ex-military folks trying to battle PTSD are doing this ayahuasca. It's been around for, depending upon who you believe, thousands, if not millions yep. of years, mm -hmm. depending right. on who you talk to. So now we're getting eyes on it because George Jordan Poyer went down last year. It was such a massive experience. He was like, he wanted to share this with more people so they knew what is potentially possible in a different country with different laws and different viewpoints on things. So we're getting document uh, the entire trip, pretty much. Yeah. And Jordan's down there. Von Miller's down there. Aaron Rodgers is down there. Right. There's some ceremonial stuff that takes place. They go into these huts, seemingly. They sm put smoke in there. You come out looking vastly different. Obviously, you've been through it. I couldn't even imagine how hot it is down there. And, like, uh, I appreciate the fact that Poyer's sharing this information. And I appreciate the fact that people are doing this, looking to better themselves mentally and change themselves. But this one's not for me. No. After I watch the video, I am not. There's Aaron in the middle, obviously, going through it. He is a avid user of ayahuasca and believes in everything that it can do for people. And it has shown that it can definitely turn lives around, more optimism, more hope, better viewpoint on everything. I'm not saying that there isn't, you know, upside to this. If you talk to literally every human that's ever done it, the only people that seemingly bury it are people that haven't done it and say, mm -hmm. he's hippies, they need to stop going into the jungle and do their thing. But I'm appreciative of Jordan Porter putting that video out because there's no way I'm the right guy to go do this. Oh, I don't think so. Me either. As a human who has potentially tripped a few times on some things, I don't think you ever want any negative energy going into it. Me walking through a jungle with native Costa Ricans playing the drums and, every, and the smoke that's coming in there, I think even I, who is maybe the biggest, y'all, this is dope, mm -hmm. I'll do it, yeah. guy in the history, I think I'd be a little bit rattled. Sure. I don't know if I'm mentally tough enough to do it, but if I get to a point you know, where I would like to go change some things, either about my viewpoints or how I'm feeling or how my brain's operating, I think we know the right people to do it with. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. They I got it all figured out here. La mm -hmm. Familia of yeah. Aaron Rodgers. Absolutely. But, yeah, you're right. You know, one one look at this video, hey, that's not something I'm ever going to be doing. And that's okay. They look like they're having fun. That's okay. I don't think you're. I don't think having fun is the objective. No. Normally when I go on vacation, it is. It's not a vacation. <laughs> Well, that's a, a retreat. Yeah. yeah, but they're in a different country, and they were at a retreat on a. It looked like they were on a resort. A uh, bathing suit. And on. there was different plants. This is and, a spiritual journey, Tony. It's Thank you, Nick, for saying the proper thing. I was looking for. It's not a. It's not a vacation. This is getting better. This is working on yourself. Yeah, but their season just ended. They should be relaxing and going on vacation. Very done that. Jordan Boyer yeah. swinging the sticks. He's playing the hand pan. Hand pan. Hand pan. They work on themselves all year long, lifting weights and doing sprints. We're and talking stuff about in between pain. the years. It's a different type Talk of work. Talk about emotional work on oh, themselves. Not familiar with that. Next time we talk to either any of them mm -hmm. that are on that thing, we will certainly bring that video up and say, so what's going on here? Yeah, I have to know. What's what going on? What, are they smoking you out right now? Is it a thousand degrees in there? That's all Looks I saw like was how bad I would be sweating as a human that runs oh. hot and would not mind my house to be 63 degrees. I would not care if it was 63 degrees everywhere that I went all the time. It looked like it was a thousand degrees in there, but I assume they'll all come back and say it made them better. So congrats on a safe journey, boys. Hell yeah. And ladies. I and believe that's off. Mm-hmm. Would that, like to know more. That one lady was going through it. Yeah. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah. bringing her juices. Hey, we got, we <clears throat> yeah. got two arms for you to. The juice did look yeah. really good. Yeah, it did. I mean, it's straight from the jungle, baby. And were they eating little edibles there whenever they were I don't know what that was. Was that little edibles? I'm sure. It's like protein. Maybe, Could maybe have been Altoids. Like, hey, this stuff makes your breath smell like shit. Here's an Altoid when you get out of the thing. They don't care about smell over there, Tony. Everyone. What are you talking about? First of all, it's down. I mean, How do you know? I mean, you could just tell. It didn't look as though everybody was keeping up with their hygienal, you know. <laughs> well, there was some mud. I, it looked yeah. like there was some mud. Uh-huh. Good yep. for exfoliating. And also, I learned the messaging is we're just visitors here. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I think it does put life into perspective right, a little yeah. bit, which could potentially change some things, obviously. Uh, anytime you experience something life-altering, you start thinking about all the little things and what really matters and what doesn't. I assume this is a very similar thing. I think they're all back safe. I think, nice. I saw, nice. I think I saw Aaron playing in a oh, yeah. that's uh, right. that's right. football tournament, a yep. camp. fresh out of it, that he normally plays mm -hmm. in. Jordan Poyer, the request is in a chit-chat with him about the documentary he's making. Nice. Mm -hmm. When are we going to see more of this? How much of the process are we seeing? Because, you know, I am intrigued, but also I'm like, I run hot. I don't know if the jungle's where I need to be on sure. to do anything. 
Can you do that in L.A.? Do they do that in L.A.? I don't think so. I think there are Although maybe you could. St- stations, because I believe we have heard of... Or like, like Sweden, it's cooler there this time of year? Yeah, put me up in Iceland. Mm-hmm. Average temp in Costa Rica in March is 82 degrees. And then they were putting fire into the hut. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're next to the fireplace in the middle of the jungle. Pretty humid yeah. looking, too. Hey. He's now a member of the Dolphins. Hell yeah. Might have spoke to a Dolphin. It's official today. Yeah, could have. You never <laughs> Might know. Have. It's official. Jordan Poyer signed his one-year $2 million deal. On the left there is Rosen Haas. In the middle there is Jordan Poyer with a brand new perspective on life, maybe reaffirming some of his beliefs that he has share, shared over the last year or two. Mm-hmm. He's officially a Miami Dolphin. Hey, Dolphins back on the up and up, Gumps, because I remember there was a time where you were a little bit down on the Dolphins with some of the dumb moves you thought and the rest of the Dolphins fans thought they were potentially making. Yeah, you're definitely not going to replace Christian Wilkins, but Chris Greer has done a very good job with the money that was available under the cap. So you're pumped about these moves. Yeah, I'm, I'm back in. I'm back in. <laughs>